What's up everybody? It's Luster Purge Pink here and today I'm gonna make a different kind of video just addressing some of the concerns about like uh, how I patched my save game uh, for Fire Red Rocket Edition and this is a very general tutorial like it, it, it's pretty broad so you could probably do this for any uh, Pokemon ROM hack that you need to continue your save file from or anything uh, or just patching is a patching tutorial in general. Um, so hi, if you're new here, hi. Um, but uh, this is more specifically about Pokemon Fire Red Rock Edition as it's been um, inquired of me about how I did this. So um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to Curdle Salt's uh, Poke, Poke Community page, obviously, just go ahead and download the completed version. Um, don't, do not download the betas uh, unless you want the older versions, but this is about the um, completed version. Uh, so you're gonna wanna download that um, and pretty much this is applicable all ROM hacks that you want to download um, just go to their respective pages and everything just download it um, so you'll get the IPS patch file you'll after you download it from Dropbox I have everything in a, a little folder here for the sake of this um, tutorial um, I'm not this organized at all so assuming you don't already have Lunar IPS uh, just go download it from Google it's safe it's it's a, an essential tool for downloading Pokemon, uh, for getting Pokemon ROM hacks for for uh, legality reasons because the creator does not want to distribute ROMs uh, because that is e um, illegal. Um, but they actually distribute patches instead. Um, so what you do is you just click on the Lunar IPS icon and this little window will come up. But first, there's something else you need to do. So I think the thing that a lot of people are having trouble with is the actual um is dealing with save files um and i too at first had some trouble with it um but i'm gonna show you how to do a workaround of that so basically uh i think that the issue that a lot of people are having here is that they is that they use is that they use save states instead of their actual physical save file um, so what you're going to want to do this, this, you see this save dot save icon. This, this is a battery file and this is like the physical save you have. And as you can see, I hadn't saved since, um, since I first, uh, since one of the first times I played the game, probably about episode three or four of my let's play. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to your most recent save state. Okay. Don't, don't know why I did that. Um, you, you want to go to your most recent save state. Um, if you physically saved the game all this time, then good for you. I would recommend making a backup of that save. Um, but let's be honest, not a lot of, you know, it's not a huge thing to really save physically for a, for a ROM hack. People usually use states. So this is more specifically for the state users. And as I said, you probably do want to, um, back up your save file. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do if you have not saved previously, uh, like you're just gonna wanna save, um, just do a, a save, in-game save, don't load, don't, don't save your, don't save a save state. And what you're gonna wanna do from here is that you wanna click export. And you wanna go to export, click battery file. So I'm just gonna name this tutorial for the sake of the tutorial. Um, and the only reason I do this is because every time I try to save um, to this, I, I end up getting an error message. Um, so I would recommend for everybody to just export your save, um, export your save file. Um, I believe it's just some glitch caused by, you know, having to patch the game or something, but it always say save file is corrupted. We're going to your previous save file. Um, so just better safe than sorry, export your save. That's pretty much too long, didn't read version of that. So you're going to want to click off of that, go to Lunar IPS, or alternatively, what you can do, pfft, sorry about my disorganized messy downloads folder. Um, what you can do is you can actually click on Rocket Edition Final and Lunar IPS should automatically like start. So this, so you have your patch selected, you can click on this. Yeah, you just go and you click on your Fire Red Rocket Edition game and it should give you the notification that you have successfully patched. But let's do it through Lunar IPS real quick just to... So apply IPS patch. Um, what you do first is that you actually select your IPS patch wherever it is. Click that. Um, double click it or click 
you know, this. Um, then you go to your folder, wherever you have your um, copy of the game, you go to and you click on it, and then it should say the file was successfully patched, which means that the game is in its final, its final version as it stands right now. Uh, so you open this, um, and as you see, the game is already different. You don't have the uh, Game Freak thing coming up. Well, you have that coming up, but I mean like the Game Freak credits. credits. So, hello? Okay, there we go. So, it comes up, it comes up properly, like this. Um, but just in case you're having issues and you need to um, import your current save, what you can do is you just go to battery file. Uh, you go to import battery file and then click on your tutorial save, whatever. And you should be able to get your save file back. So look, I'm back at Cinnabar Island where I'm supposed to be. Now, the reason I do this instead of, um, instead of using save states, because if you do this, you'll sometimes get, yeah, you're gonna get glitches. And I turned the, uh, yeah, you see, like, look at the visual glitches. Uh, that doesn't look too good. And also there's just gonna be this god awful glitching sound. So, yeah, it's better advised to just export your save file um, and then patch it um, so that you won't have to run into any issues. And what I do recommend after this, only because my, my own save file got corrupted, um, I actually physically saved instead of save stating uh, in one of my recent, more recent episodes and I lost my data, just be careful with that. I would recommend stating, double stating, and actually physically saving the game so that way you can just easily go back to where you need um to where you need to uh, and just to show you that we're in the right place doing the right thing um hold on so we're back on cinnabar oh my god okay see that's why that's why you that's why you need why you absolutely need to um be safe about this and have a backup so see now you see how it did before. I'm actually glad that happened so I can show you like why you why it's a good idea to back up your uh, battery file. Um, just do that and uh, you you should be here and he should say well, we got to start at the, start at the beginning. So now we're started at the beginning of this and uh, the game should play out as normal. Um, that should be applicable for any ROM hack, but as I said, this is specifically for Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition. So yeah, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I'll be glad to answer any questions you you have in the comment section. I don't care how old this video gets, just ask me and I should and I should answer. Um, this is uh, Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition. Newest episode is actually uploading right now. So and this is, um, and it should be up by the time this video comes out. But um, if you haven't watched it, go on and watch it. Just plugging some of my stuff here. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Pink. I upload Pokemon content and uh, well, why don't you give it a, a why don't you give it a little shot? Uh, we have a great community and everything. But anyway, so I hope this helped answer questions and if not, uh, comment down below as I said, I'll put an FAQ in the description if you if you guys have any trouble, if this wasn't clear enough. Um, so anyway, yes, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay cool, peace out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.